this is Liz Fair, hailing from Chicago. Good morning, America. And good morning, everyone. I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm Willow Bay of Good Morning America Sunday in for Joan London. It's Thursday, December 1st. And she's going to do a little singing for us, yeah, I guess. That's right. Oh, that's she terrific. is. Well, if you're over 30, it's quite possible that you've never heard of Liz Fair, except that I know you well, I've heard a lot about her, but that's because I'm only 26. Right? <laughs> well, if you turn on any college radio station, she may be all you hear. She's part of the 90s wave of smart female rockers singing of love and sex, and with a frankness that may be shocking to some. Her first album has become the anthem of 20-something women everywhere. And Ahead in this half hour, Liz Fair in performance from her new album. It's 8.51. If Liz Fair's bio is to be believed, she's a distant descendant of Marie Antoinette, and Home Alone was shot in the house she shares with her husband, their parents, two children, and 17 cats. Whether any of that is true, what certainly is true is that Liz Fair's debut album was one of the most acclaimed of last year, turning her into a bright new name on the music scene. And Liz Fair is here this morning, and she'll be singing from her new album, Whip Smart. But first, let's, let's chat a little bit about this bio. Um, Marie Antoinette, <laughs> the house at Home Alone was shot in, and there was stuff about a finishing school in well, France. Well, you know, every young lady should. <laughs> every young lady should. Well, that's interesting. You know, your mm -hmm. songs are pretty explicit. They're, they're sexually expri explicit. explicit. And some have suggested that you are a feminist spokesperson for this generation. How do you feel about that? I wouldn't feel comfortable with the title spokesperson. I think that lays a lot of weight on my shoulders, but definitely right now there's a lot of young women coming along doing what I do. So we're sort of in a group together. Yeah, I mean, that is interesting. I mean, um, singer-songwriters who are in their 20s, like Edie Brickell, Ju Juliana mm. Hatfield, and you, do you guys have anything in common? I think we have a lot in common. I think the way we write our songs is maybe coming from the same point of view. I don't think it's just because we're a woman. I think it's also timely. but. I do like the fact that I'm not alone, you know. This year has been quite, quite a year, year for you. I mean, from starting with Exile and Guyville, um, which was the critics loved and fans mm -hmm. loved, and, and now with your second album. What's it been like? Busy. <laughs> <laughs> very busy. <laughs> it's been nice. It's been great. I've enjoyed it very much. Well, good. Now you're going to sing Alice Springs spring from your new album, Whip Smart? Yes. So I'll let you sing? Thank you. Okay. 